Good morning. You know what time it is. It is time to wake up, Grace Point. It is Wednesday. It's time to wake up. It's time to get in the Word. It's time to say a prayer. That's how we start the day here in the Grace Point family, the Grace Point crew. Just let that rise for just a moment. Here we are. It is Wake Up Grace Point. Thank you for each of you that dial in each and every day. I appreciate it a lot. I don't do this because I have to. I do it because I want to, right? And uh, so I wake up every morning uh, to give you my best. And because we want to give God our best today, right? Every day, every day we want to give God our best. I live by that good old verse, Colossians 3.23. Everything that you do, do as unto the Lord, um, everything that we're doing. So thank you guys for joining in Wake Up Grace Point. Some of you, uh, Rick Maynard, Dr. R.B. Maynard is joining us right now. Praise the Lord. Uh, so some of you are, are getting really good at this. I'm amazed at about 7.30, 7.31, 7.32. It's like pop, 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 pop. You're getting in the habit. And so um, I guess I'm just going to have to do a Wake Up Grace Point for the rest of my entire life. It's going to be great. I'm going to I'm going to enjoy waking up for the rest of my life doing wake up grace point videos. <laughs> no, I enjoy it. It's fine. I like it. I like it. So Calvin Tatum, he's right there. Good morning. We got the Helm family. Uh, uh, good morning to you. Jessica, are you still up there in good old Minnesota or are you on your way back now? Uh, so anyway, thank you guys. I want to encourage you as always. Um, checking out all the stuff that's going. Jane Lee, man, bam, you guys, Helen and George Taylor. You guys are so consistent and faithful. God bless your little Southern Missouri hearts for joining me. Um, so anyway, uh, let, let me get the, the just the little promos off my head. Go to gracepointag.org. Uh, that's in the, in the corner there uh, for tithes and offerings. Thank you for all of you that are faithful uh, and consistent. I appreciate that. Kennedy, dialing in. Stella Maynard, dialing in. Um, I'm relaxing at my home. Well, there you go. Bless God. You're back here in good old Southern Missouri. A beautiful place here. Uh, so anyway, um, God bless you guys. Go to gracepointag.org for uh, giving to the Grace Point. Grace Point is something we got church. Grace Point Church tithes and offerings. We appreciate that um, so, so much throughout this time that we haven't been gathering. You've held us together. I'm still here. I still have a job. I'm still the pastor. Yay. It's awesome. Uh, I also want to remind you guys, uh, there's this little picture I showed the last couple of days, Grace Point Grounds. You like that logo there? We are right now uh, in the midst of transforming and changing uh, up the fellowship room and so we're putting in all new flooring uh, we had painted part of it not long ago we've re uh, we're repainting all of the fellowship hall uh, this from really literally from the walls to the ceiling uh, we had to do patchwork all kinds of good stuff um stella maynard's on on my morning drive oh on their way up to nevada God bless you, Stella, in your business today on your way up to nevada anyway uh so we are redoing the uh, fellowship hall and we're going to call it grace point grounds and, and and so anyway we put up some accent walls new flooring we haven't got that in yet because how many of you know when you get in a project then it opens up like a bunch of other things not a bunch of other things but we had to patch stuff and so we uh we had to patch up ceiling uh good morning nine to six good morning michael esh the crew is the crew you guys are my crew the wake up grace point daily crew i got my modern christian dad's t-shirt on Maybe we should make a wake up grace point t-shirt. How about that? We could all, ah, uh, we could all rock wake up grace point t-shirts together. Yay. That would be fun. Wouldn't it? How about like applause for that? Wake up grace point t-shirts. I love making those t-shirts, you know, anyway. Um, so in the midst of that grace point grounds, that'll be coming the next time when that we gathered, uh, will be really cool. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, our grace point daily YouTube channel, Please check that out, uh, and that's enough rambling. Well, anyway, let me focus on that, um, Grace One Daily YouTube channel, all of our Facebook Live services. You guys are awesome. Okay, here we go. So um, because we are in the midst of doing project work right now at the church, painting and, and uh, all kinds of stuff, I hope you guys like it. Uh, you you better just just do it just do it just to make me feel better okay anyway even if you absolutely just hate it uh just walk in and say you like it okay it'll make me feel better <laughs> but uh anyway 
we're doing all this project works and uh, kind of stuff. And um, where am I got to get my bird? Wake up, Jeremiah. Come on, wake up. I need the air horn real quick here. There we go to wake me up, the air horn. Uh, anyway, we're doing all this project work and uh, it, it's fun. I love it. It's one of those things. How many of you, when you get ready to do a project, you're going to remodel something. You get you get the visual idea in your head. You saw it on HGTV, those of you ladies that watch that. Uh, <laughs> and you're super excited about it, right? So you get the project going and it, it's so exciting because you're you just think, you're thinking of the finished product. Uh, and you're not really thinking about all that it's going to take to get to the finish, finished product. How many of you know what I'm saying? Say amen. Uh, and then, so that's kind of phase one. Phase two, then you begin to dig into the project. And we all know Mike Ash, he loves to he loves to tear things apart. He is the one who, uh, on those uh, building projects there for MAPS, which is a missions uh, endeavor, they go in and help build churches. Sometimes they have to strip. Man, he can tear he can tear a building down that brother and, and in a good way, you know? <laughs> uh, and so you start to get into the project and then usually you find out like, Oh, cool. Like in the gathering, uh, the fellowship hall, we're like, okay, we're going to put down all new flooring. And it went from like putting in all new flooring to actually we've taken three to four days now of painting the walls and removing tracks and, um, partitions and then as we took those out then we had to uh, put in sheetrock <laughs> demo expert then we had to put in sheetrock and then we had to mud and tape and then now we're like well now after we finished all that mudding and taping now we're like well we can't just leave the ceiling like that because we're we believe in excellence so we have to now paint the whole ceiling uh, so it has a beautiful fresh coat and now we're not we're not even to the floor yet you know uh, and then the flooring uh, we got to rip up all the carpet and we got to then after you rip up the carpet you got to you know kind of scrape and uh, and you're just like I just want to put down flooring right <laughs> that's all that was kind of the original goal oh they named a hurricane oh yeah, Hurricane Michael. <laughs> anyway, Mike Ash, we love him, don't we? Hand, hand clap. How about a round of applause for Mike Ash real quick? So anyway, we um, we get in these projects and then, you know, now you're in the nitty gritty of it and you're like, man, this. <clears throat> okay, pardon my language for a second. Uh, th this was like, I, some people don't like this word, but just, just for a second, like this kind of sucks. Okay. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I said it, I won't say it in. Anyway, you're like, man, this stinks. Like, I do not like this. This is more work that I anticipated. I just wanted to lay down the, you know, I just wanted to do this. And so then we're now we're, you know, there's no turning back. Right. I mean, once you rip out the carpet and, uh, you've, pulled out part of the sheetrock, you're committed. You got to do this thing, uh, or it's just going to look ghetto. Uh, so then, you know, you get through the project and finally you get it done uh, and uh, you're like, oh, praise God. And the best is when it turns out the way you wanted it to be, right? Is when you're like, whoa, like, okay, when you look at this background, I know you can't see everything, but I love our studio back here. Uh, it turned out really, really well, turned out really how I envisioned it. And so I love to come in here. I've actually, the last month, I've spent more time in the studio than in my office because I love the vibe. I love the feel. I love the colors, all those kind of things. I know I'm kind of going along here on this illustration. Um, but anyway, and then sometimes, man, you do a project and you do all of that work and you get it done and you're like, uh, that not really, not really what I was going for. <laughs> and those are the worst. So anyway, here's what I'm trying to get to today. Okay. You, every one of you today that are listening, all of us that are gathered, I'm just calling out the names that are commenting. Some of you uh, could be listening that you, I, I don't, I don't have that up there. I just have the comment name. So Rick Maynard, Jessica Helm, Calvin Tatum, uh, Helen and George Taylor, Jane Lee Kennedy, uh, the Helm family, Nana to six, Mike and uh, Paula Esch. Um, those of you guys, guess what? You guys are all a project. You, uh, you guys are one big project in the eyes of the Lord, not in me, but you're a project uh, and you are an unfinished project. And until you die, take your last breath or however Jesus comes back, whatever, um, until that time comes, you're a project. Barbara hopping on there. God bless you. <laughs> Love seeing your podcast. Thank you. I, I appreciate that very, very much. Um, so 
Uh, you're all a project. You're, you are a project. You're, you are like a construction, a never ending construction project until the day you get to meet Jesus face to face. And then that's when the end product is there. So here's my one encouragement for the day is just simply this. Let's bounce over to the scripture. My one encouragement is simply this second Peter chapter three, verse 17 and 18. I'm going to read it in two versions. I got pulled up there for it. It says, therefore, let me warn you. And I just want to do three eighteen, but I'll, for context sake, I'll do 17 and 18. Second Peter three, 17 and 18. Therefore, let me warn you, beloved, knowing these things beforehand, be on your guard so that you are not carried away by the the error of unprincipled men who distort doctrine and fall away from your own steadfastness of my knowledge, truth, and faith. But, and here's, here's all it is. Here's all I have to say to you today, but grow spiritually mature and the grace and knowledge of our Lord and savior, Jesus Christ to him, be glory, honor, majesty, splendor, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. If you want to read it, uh, there's one translation. I really like the passion translation. It says, as for you, divinely loved ones, since you are, um, forewarned of these things be careful that you are not led astray by the error of the lawlessness of your loose firm grip on the truth but continue to grow and increase in god's grace and intimacy with our lord and savior jesus christ may he receive all the glory both now and until the day eternity begins amen see you're not you're not done you are a project an unfinished project until eternity begins all right so what am i telling you today grow grow. Don't ever stop growing. You know, I, uh, the reason I, I, and I've learned this since I've been back when I was a youth pastor, uh, I've always loved building stage designs, uh, building things, uh, growing, pushing forward, not just not staying stagnant. And, uh, I don't, I don't want to say I love that about myself, but, but I appreciate that. Like I, 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 God has put in me a spirit that wants to keep growing, that wants to keep building. I was, I think it was Rick Maynard, the Dr. RB Maynard there the other day. I was saying, man, if you, uh, for grace point, if you wanted a pastor that just is going to sit in the office for four or five hours and then just, uh, you know, go out and visit a couple people and preach a sermon on Sunday, bro, that is not me. Okay. Like I, I mean, I, I value being in the office, but man, I want to be moving. I want to be shaking. I want to be out there. Like, I don't want to sit still. Like I want to keep pushing forward. Uh, and uh, I told this as well, you know, I said, man, I don't think I could, if it, even this church, let me tell Grace Point, like take you behind the curtain. Like if we ever just got into a spot where we're just kind of existing, then I think I would have to find another job or go be a pastor somewhere else because I cannot exist in, in that mode. Like I can't, it's just not my nature. Uh, I want to keep pushing forward. And what I'm trying to get to uh, outside of like project work and stuff like that, which I love to do those things. I, I, you know, as much as it's a pain and it's a grind in that we're in this week at church, cause we're like, we got to get all this done before people come. But I love it. Cause I'm like, man, we're moving forward. We're, we're making the church better. We're making it look better. Like, Oh man, this is awesome. But I, as much as I'm talking about those things, is that we, um, uh, we love that about you. Oh, thank you, Dr. RB Maynard. I appreciate that. Uh, I love you too. Uh, but what, but what, um, <laughs> uh, I just lost my frame of mind there. Okay. But, but I really want to make this applicably spiritually because guess what? That grace point grounds is not going to save anyone. No one's going to walk in. I mean, two weeks from now, when we walk back into church, no one's going to walk into grace point grounds, um, and be like, whoa, and fall on their face and get saved and have revival. Stephen Booth just dialed in. God bless your little Southern Missouri heart for dialing in. Um, you know, no one's going to get saved by that. And I, I have to, listen, I have to, as a pastor, keep that in perspective. That like, as much as I love like to do these projects and, and things like this, tech things, you know, of that nature. Um, and this is great because I am encouraging you spiritually, but you know, the physical stuff doesn't save anyone. You know, we could have the coolest church. Like I could have the dopest studio, which I do, you know, um, but that's not going to save anyone. Um, uh, my focus is my spiritual life and what I'm producing spiritually. And here's what the Bible says, grow. Look at verse 18 again. It says, but grow spiritually mature in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory, honor, majesty, splendor, splendor, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Don't stop growing. Guys, we have to push forward. We have, you were not meant to, to stay the same. Uh, let me give, let me just throw uh, <laughs> some of these Nebraska, my hometown under the bus for a second. Okay. So it's really funny. Like, 
okay, I'm 41. So, you know, I, gr- I graduated high school and moved away from my home, little hometown in Nebraska to Minneapolis. And I've never moved back since I go back and visit occasionally. And at the older I get, the more infrequent my visits back home are. But what's almost kind of funny now <laughs> is sometimes still is a, I can, I can go back home and there's that, those same people that have lived there their whole lives. And some of them like, they're still rocking the same gear. They still have the same clothes, same haircut, same, like, I'm like, Whoa, what is happening right now? Uh, it's pretty funny. They, they haven't changed Linda, uh, Ash and God bless you. Good morning. Thanks for joining wake up grace point, but they haven't changed. Um, uh, you know, it was a few years back. Uh, I went and got my haircut from the same lady who's been cutting hair there forever. Uh, and I'm sitting next to this lady and she is getting a, a mullet haircut. Like <laughs> a mul- she's, she's getting a mullet haircut. Okay. And she's a woman. I mean, how many of you, I mean, it'd be one thing if, if Mike Ash, you know, just decided like, Hey, I'm going to grow a mullet and, and Mike Ash would look, dude, he would look pretty tight with a mullet. How many of you, uh, hand clap thumbs up for Mike Ash with a mullet? Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I'm like, man, that like, it, it's time to change. Okay. Like the, like, first of all, if you're a lady and you're still rocking the mullet, this is, this is not good. Okay. Right. Stella Maynard, <laughs> she's in the hair industry. So anyway, uh, it's amazing how some people will get to a place in life and just pocket there and just stay there. And you are, let me say, you can do that physically. If, if you want to keep the same haircut for the rest of your life, that's fine. My hair is like starting to fade now. So, uh, <laughs> Paula, Paula doesn't want Mike Ash with a, 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 Paula, think of this, Mike Ash trucker hat and a mullet. <laughs> That'd be tight. That, that would be. I mean, if I would, <laughs> I mean, we're getting all kinds of people right now. They're like Mike Ash trucker hat, rocking a mullet. Boom. That, that you'd be the man. <laughs> um, so <laughs> they call it, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> they call, <laughs> they call it by level cut on a female. <laughs> Uh, I just, I'm going to lose it now. Listen, you're designed to grow. This is the point today. You're designed to grow. Okay. But continue and, and look at that one more time. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, I just lost it on that one. Now, now I got thoughts of <laughs> bi-level haircuts. I have thoughts of Mike Ash and a trucker hat with a mullet. <laughs> Praise God. I'm waking up. Okay. But continue. And uh, so but grow specifically in the passion translation, it says, but continue to grow and increase in God's grace and intimacy with our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, we had some fun today, but I think you're getting the point. Aren't you? The point is today you're supposed to grow. You're supposed to grow today. Come on, tell yourself when we get done with this grace point live, walk over to the mirror and look at yourself in the mirror and say to me, Jeremiah, you're supposed to grow today. You know that, right? Jeremiah, you're supposed to increase today. Jeremiah, you're supposed to continue to grow. And that never stops. And Stella is the expert. So if it's called the bi-level haircut. (laughs) (laughs) Praise God. Praise God for the mullet. I'm going to give him praise for that today. Don't stop. And look at this notation. I'm going to read it to you. And then we will pray because... This is just, this is a great, this is one of our best grace point, wake up grace points ever. Okay. The Aramaic does not use the imperative, but makes it more of a decree. You continue to be nourished in grace and in the intimate knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, the Messiah, and of God, the Father. Spiritual growth is yielding to the grace of God and having passion to know Jesus Christ intimately. In time, we grow into this beautiful image. So what is spiritual growth today? Pastor Jeremiah, how do I grow? How do I increase? Well, today you have to yield to the grace of God and have and have a passion to know Jesus. That's it. You ready to pray today? You guys are so awesome. I learned so much today. Uh, and I, I'm just going to have beautiful, as I'm going to go to do my project work today, I'm going to have beautiful visions of Mike Ash in a trucker hat with beautiful with a beautiful long flowing mullet. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. All right, you guys ready to pray today? Here's what I'm going to pray over you today. Every single one of you that have joined in, I'm going to pray today that you would grow. I'm going to pray that you would grow in intimacy 
uh, with the Lord, with Jesus today, that you would have a passion for the name of Jesus. Uh, can I pray that over you today? Give me a thumbs up. Give me an amen. If I can just declare that and speak that over you today in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Father, right now, you said, but grow, but grow spiritually mature into the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. God, today, I bless your people to grow. I bless Rick Maynard, Dr. R.B. Maynard, to grow today in Jesus' name. Uh, Rick and Stella, grow today in the name of Jesus. Uh, for Jessica, Kevin and Jessica and their family today, continue to grow. I declare increase over your life today in the name of Jesus. Calvin, I pray for you today. I pray that you would grow in grace and intimacy with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Helen and George Taylor today, I pray today that you will grow in Jesus' name. Jane, Jane Lee, I bless you today. I bless you that you are going to grow in the grace and in intimacy with Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Kennedy today, thank you. I bless you today to grow in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. God, today, I bless Mike and Paula Esch to have a passion, more of a passion uh, for you today to grow uh, in Jesus' name. Nine out of six, I pray that you will increase today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For Barbara, uh, I, I, I bless you today to grow in Jesus' name, to not stop growing, but to continue to grow in, in Jesus' name. Nine out of six, I bless you to grow and to increase in the name of Jesus. Stephen Booth, I bless you today that you will grow in Jesus' name. Linda Ash, I pray for you today. I pray that you will grow in the name of Jesus, that you will grow in grace and in intimacy, and Jesus will become more real to you today than he was yesterday. Thank you for your people today. I bless them in Jesus' name. I bless them to know you. I bless them to experience you. I bless them to encounter you today. That God, that they will wake up and they will rise to your goodness and grace today. Thank you, Father God. Grow, grow, grow in the grace of Jesus. Grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, grow in grace, grow in intimacy, grow in passion today. To Him be glory, honor, majesty, splendor, both now and to the day we get there. That's when we're going to be the finished product, when we step into eternity. I bless you today in Jesus' name. Wake up, Grace Point. I'll talk to you tomorrow.